Good day and welcome back into Schwasty Kitchen. My name is Chef Schwasty and I'd like to give a shout out to my loyal viewer. You know who you are. Today we are going to be making everything fish. We got salmon, tuna, crab, shrimp, cod, you know, we just got sh** everywhere. And today's drink of choice is good old fashioned Captain Morgan. Just the regular Captain Morgan. Not 1671, not private stock, just regular because sometimes you can't beat the classics. So anyway, first and foremost, what you're going to want to do is, uh, make a drink. Three shots of Morgan and a little bit of Coke. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, since I just came back from lunch at Olive Garden, where we got some of the best service we've ever had, shout out to Shane at Olive Garden, thank you so much, I'm kind of full right now. So we're going to begin by doing a lot of prep work, which is how you should start with fish. There's lots of marinades, there's lots of uh, marinades, and there's quite a few marinades and... So we're going to get to that now. But first, cheers. Ah! Let's get drunk. First bit of prep work you're going to do is hopefully you've got some grilling planks on you. Now what you're going to want to do is open this and soak one of the boards in white wine for quite some time. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Ha! Take one of your planks and put it in a casserole dish. Take some white wine and soak the plank. There's only a little bit left. Ah! Your plank is floating on a wonderful wine bed. And we're gonna leave it alone for like two hours, so put it in a place that drunk you will definitely remember. Like, right in the way. Did you pick up tuna steaks? Because you should have. Ah, we're going to marinate some tuna now. Get out some motherfucking Tupperware. Oh. Make sure you're not an idiot like me. And thaw out your tuna. There's a hole in this pocket. Well, thawing out the tuna took a little while. So let's just go ahead and keep drinking. Take your packaged tuna and put it in a separate bowl for a little while while we mix our marinade. Alright, now hopefully you're paying attention because I'm going to go kind of fast. There are a lot of ingredients in my tuna marinade, so try to keep up. Get a pen and paper. Do whatever you need to do. I don't care. I'm cooking for me. Always start with your solid ingredients like seasoning first. Keep up. Minced garlic. Crushed red peppers. A little bit of cumin. Don't go too heavy. Black and Cajun seasoning. This is dash, garlic and herb. Minced onions. You can cut them up if you want, but I like the freeze dried. F*** you. Add in quite a bit of flavored meat tenderizer. Now that you've added all of your solid ingredients, seasonings and the like, we're going to add the liquid base. A f*** ton of soy sauce. Say it with me, everyone. If it doesn't have tapatio, it's not worth eating. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. This stuff. Be very careful with the liquid smoke. Like maybe half a capful. Yakisoba sauce. Is that racist? A little bit. Yakisoba sauce. Just a little bit of sesame oil. Not, not that much. Add a little bit of jalapeno brine because the uh, saltiness of the brine will actually help keep the meat tender. And last but not least, lemon. Come on, bitch, get all in there. Do you know why I saved the lemon for last? Because you're going to use that to stir the marinade. Now that you have your stirred up marinade, let's go right the oh, hell. Wow. Let's go and throw a tuna in there. Men only. Eee, bloop. Now that you have your entire marinade in there with the tuna sitting in there, just kind of chillaxing. Put a lid on it. <laughs> Put a lid on it. Make f***ing sure that it's sealed, because I made this mistake before. Because if it's not, you go to shake it, you end up with regret. When you're sure that it's sealed, shake it up. Go and put it back in the fridge because we're not going to see this for quite some time. Make another drink. One. Two. Three. Roll hard with your mixer. Now we're going to do a little bit of salmon marinating. Oh, Captain, my Captain. 
Huh. <coughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget to shake your tuna. For our salmon game, don't f around. Get yourself some wild caught coho or sockeye. Variety, as they say, is the spice of life. If you bought way too much salmon like I did, cut it in half horizontally and try two, two different kinds of marinades because you'll never know which one you like until you have it. Fish! Get out two more Tupperwares and two more lids. Now, unlike we did with the tuna, instead of using the marinade first, you're going to put the salmon in the Tupperware and put the marinade on top of it. Now, for one marinade, I'm going to do a wet marinade, and the other one, I'm going to do a dry marinade. We're going to see how it works out. I haven't done this a whole lot, so here's hoping. For your dry marinade, let's start off with a little minced garlic, just because I love it so. Just put a tiny bit on there and rub it in with your fingers. I'm going to use a bit of this Chef Paul's Magic Seafood Blend. I've used it, or Seafood Magic, I've used it before. Works great. So let's go ahead and put some on there. Get you a red onion and cut some up. <coughs> You're only going to need probably about this much. Layer the onion on your salmon, skin up, juicy side down. Look at that, so pretty! Get a big fucking lemon. Slice it. <laughs> Slice enough of the lemon so that you can cover your salmon with it. Like that. Like that. Whatever's left, squeeze over top. Now for the wet marinade, we're going to do something very similar to the tuna marinade. Maybe not as many ingredients. I find tuna to uh, be a little bit more absorbent when it comes to flavor. So, salmon, we're going to use the uh, seafood magic stuff, some soy sauce, yakisoba sauce, maybe some teriyaki, and whatever the f*** else you feel like putting on there. I don't care. If it doesn't have tapatio, it's not worth eating! No, I, I can hear you. I can hear you voicing your complaints. Why? Oh, why didn't we do the marinade first and then put the salmon on top later like we did with the tuna? Well, this is why. You're going to want to take the salmon, flip it in the marinade, cap it off and put it in the fridge. So by now, you should have your two tuna steaks marinating at the bottom, your dry rub in the middle, and your wet marinade on top for the salmon. So, what are we going to do? We're going to finish our drink. And make another. One, two, three. If you're not already filming a cooking show, which takes several hours to make and then about 20 hours to edit, I highly advise that you actually buy Dungeness Crab. However, I cheated and got already pre-separated crab meat. You're going to take that and put it into a glass. Improvise! Maybe a can opener? <laughs> Wine glass. One. No, I'm joking. That looks fancy as shit. We're going to put cocktail sauce in it. Welcome into my show this is my darling girlfriend, Chef Mrs. The Schwasty. She's going to be our taste tester for this episode to verify that I'm an actual cook and not just lying through my teeth. And so clink, clink. And try a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to move on to making some shrimp and cod. Let's prep some cod. Take some butter and or margarine, put some in a bowl. And by some, I mean a lot. Stick that shit in the microwave. While your butter is melting, let's go ahead and finish our drink. I mean, why not? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Good times! Inside of the butter, we're going to put some Italian seasoning. Fucking Himalayan sea salt. And some minced garlic. I like garlic. F you. Remember the cod that we bought earlier? Rip it in half. Put it in the bowl. Make sure it's nice and submerged. I ripped a fish in half. Huh? I fucking ripped a fish in half. Swirl that mother around just like ever so gently. Make sure it gets a nice even coat. And after you swirl it, Flip it. While that's sitting, take some breadcrumbs, pour it in a bowl. Parmesan. I love Parmesan. Sarah, we need more Parmesan. Your Parmesan. 
On top of the Parmesan, we're gonna add some Italian seasoning. Let's add some seafood magic, uh, just a little bit. Mix it up. I'm gonna take the cod, dip it in the breadcrumb Parmesan herb mix, flip it, put it on the plate, and do the same with the other half that you ripped in half with your bare fucking hands! Ugh. Let's do some shrimp. And empty them into the thing that you had your other white fish in. Let's let Mr. Olive Oil have some fun with them, shall we? Take your bare fucking fingies and mix it up. Take a shrimp from the bottom, coat it, put it in the bowl. Repeat for every shrimp. After you've dipped and breaded every single one of your shrimpies, put them on a skewer. Make sure you skewer all of your shrimp like that. One, two, three. All that's left to do is to cook. Jesse, let's cook. I just spilled it all over myself. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna barbecue, and we're gonna be judged by our neighbors. Let's do it. Your grill is preheating, you've got your shrimp right here, and behind you, your collection of everything that you're marinating. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna have yourself a cigar. What you're gonna wanna do, put your shrimp on the bobby. That's racist. Place your shrimp upon the barbecue. That's racist. The cigar I lit earlier was expired. Let's light a cigarillo. Once your shrimps are smoking like you are, flip, take your cod, wrap it in some tin foil, like you would a burrito. For experimentation's sake, I took a little piece, we're gonna put it directly on the grill, so. Well, it's gonna catch fire. Be prepared. Make yourself a drink. One. Two! Two! Three. Three. This is the breaded cod. Oh my god, it's right. It's gonna be better than tinfoil, though. Now, we're gonna try a shrimp. What did I tell you? You can cook a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cod's done, shrimp's done. Salmon and tuna left. Finish your drink. I can't even taste anymore, is that a bad thing? Make another drink. One. Two. Three. Remember that plank we've been marinating for a long time? The wet salmon, put it scale down on the plank. The dry rub salmon, put it on the plank. You are a true chef. Chef sweet. Cook your salmon for how long you give a f Finish drink. Oh, God. One. Two. Three. Oh, oops. That? That looks awesome. It's like you're the Don't give em. F em. F em. F em. F em. So. You've grilled everything. You've got your friends with you. Hey! Parmesan and crusted cod. Crod? Why not? Cod. Why wouldn't you? Cod. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? The salmon stuff. You got your shrimpies. Mercury poison. Mercury poison. Oh, it's down my arm. Remember that tuna that we marinated at the beginning of this fucking episode? If I shake it, will the boys come to my yard? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Smells that sh like smells like heaven. Now you f***ed up. Now you f***ed up. Now you f***ed up. Now you f***ed up. Now you have f***ed up now. You have f***ed up now. Here's the tuna. One, two, three, everyone. Orgasm. It's so good, man. Hashtag oh, no. Chef's wasty, dude. So good, so good. All right, now for the salmon. Okay. The dry rub. Ready? One, two, three. That was better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, mm. sure. So good. One, two, three. The wet marinade. Oh my god. Oh, no, I like so the good. wet better. Mm. Mm. But <laughs> it's so good, dude. Uh, if it doesn't nice. have top to you, it's not. Not what Praise God. Praise God Almighty. One, two, three. Can I get a me an, an amen? I said, Amen. Good God Almighty. Good, Good God, God Almighty. Almighty. Thank you for watching this episode. If you have any ideas how we can improve, leave me a comment. If you like us, which we do, we love uh, you. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs>